Hello, my sweet little noodles. My name is Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. And today we'll be going over all the TV shows and movies that I watched in quarter three of 2023. Now, Netflix took the cake on this one, but I still did not end up watching that many new things to me. Also, to set this up, for quarter four, I have already watched more TV shows and movies than I did in quarter three, and it's the beginning of quarter four. So that's just going to set the stage. There's really not that many for us to go over today, but I still want to talk about them. So we're going to start with Netflix, which is where I watched most of my stuff. And the first thing we watched was Made. This is based off of the book I read a couple years ago that I fucking hated. I hated Made. I think it's one of the worst books I've ever read is actually a memoir and I I, I really want to describe this book to you because this woman makes the worst choices over and over and over and then just victimizes herself. It is so frustrating, but the Netflix adaptation is so much better at conveying her story and her life. And I think it actually was done really well and it embellished a lot of things and it left out a lot of things from the book because there was a lot of things in the book that we did not need to see that made us realize this woman was a complete fucking idiot because she kept thinking, oh, I can work 25 hours a week and take care of me and my baby. In America, sweetie, that's really not a possibility and I went over this ad nauseum in my video where I talked about how much I hated this book but I really enjoyed this show I thought it was really good we have a mother-daughter actress duo who are actually mother and daughter in real life I really enjoyed that and I think that this show did a lot of things right and it was definitely entertaining like if you're looking for an entertaining show about a single mom and what it's like I think this does a good job I really enjoyed the setting but I wasn't a fan of some of the characters some of the choices but I still think it was better than the book 100% if you're like oh should I read the memoir or watch the show why Watch the show, sweetie. It's not worth your time to read the book. Just go read the plethora of one star reviews and you'll probably rethink that decision. Next we watched Is It Cake 2 and this is the second season of the hit show Is It Cake? Like you cut into it. Is it a cake? Is it a real boot? We don't know. It's such a great idea and I like watching the cakes and guessing because I usually tend to be right but every now and then it gets you and that's the fun part but the guy who hosts it honest to god kind of ruins it. I don't know why the fuck they don't bring in Nicole Byer because she knows what she's doing. I really wish she be the hostess of the show. It would be a much more enjoyable ride. Next we watched Depp versus Her and this is the documentary based on the court case between our very famous celebrities Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Now I don't really know if I can take a side in this honestly I just feel like as an observer it's just kind of a batshit crazy story to begin with. Um, it's a little weird and depressing and some of it was quite funny to see how they would react with a stand but I mean this really did happen. It's a real court case and I can't really say who I'd prefer to win but at the same time like I think it was just weird that it was brought to a court case to begin with. I don't know. Anyway, enjoyed it. I love documentaries. I love the hot tea. It was good. Probably my favorite thing I watched in quarter three was sex education, namely season four, which is a new season of the show. It's the last and final season. And I'm glad it was because this last season just definitely left kind of a bitter taste in my mouth. I feel like seasons one through three, which we also rewatched, were very like upbeat, even though they were dealing with a lot of like very heavy stuff. And I feel like season four just like did not leave like the depressing zone. It was really tough to watch. And I guess like there are some really good things that happen in here that we finally got after how many seasons of wanting those things to happen. But I just feel like it took a departure. You know what I mean? It just has a completely different feel than the other three seasons. And I don't know if I liked that. I mean, I did like a lot of things that happened, but I didn't really like the way that it worked out, I guess. Like I liked the way that things happened, but I just feel like the tone should have been like a little bit lighter. It was like too much heartfelt stuff at the end. And like, I need a little more levity. I was also missing a lot of the characters that have not come back for season four. And I think that that would have definitely changed the trajectory of this season because even like just having a few snippets of people and like realizing why they weren't in the show anymore, like just would have been like a really nice change. And I really just hated some of the new characters that were introduced. There were just so many new people. And I feel like for a last season, I did not need that many fucking new people. I feel like we should have finished out more of our normal storylines or, or something. I just feel like it just didn't really work the way I wanted it to. So it's definitely my least favorite season, I think, especially because I just rewatched all of them. But I mean, no matter what, I love this show. I originally watched the show back when it first aired and I watched it because I had really bad stomach bug and I sat on the couch after throwing up all night and just watched it like just exhausted, no food, just fucking watched the show and sat down with the window open and just vibed the first season. Absolutely fucking loved it so much that I told like everybody about it. Like this is definitely one of my favorite shows. It's such a fun, easy rewatch and I really enjoyed it. The last season just, it definitely let me down a little bit and I just can't really put my finger on why I didn't love it as much. But I'm gonna go with very dark, not a whole lot of levity in it. And there was just too many new characters introduced for such a last season that it didn't really make a whole lot of sense. Next on Paramount Plus, we watched Teen Mom OG. Now, 
now. I'm putting this on the list even though I've already seen the show because I did watch a couple of the last seasons that were newer to me that I hadn't seen all the way through. So it's going to go on the list. And to be frank, we actually bought Paramount Plus on purpose to watch the show because on Netflix they had only like seasons one through four or something at one time and we always want to like continue because I watched this back when it first came out but like as an adult now I wanted to like re-watch all of this and introduce my brother to it and he really fell in love with it. It's such a titillating show. What can I say? So Team Mom OG, that's for the win. Uh, we also watched Team Mom 2. <laughs> Same exact situation here where I haven't seen the newer seasons so we watched all the newer seasons so I'm all caught up on everything now. And new to me as well as him was Team Mom 3 which is just like a season. Like it's not a very long show. I kind of don't even know why they even really had that show. It's like they decided to make Team Mom 3 and then nobody watched it or something even though I remember watching it by the way and they decided not to continue with it. I don't know. I just I never like finished it out all the way through. It was one of those ones I barely saw anything of so it's pretty new to me but I did watch a couple episodes when it first came out and I was just like it just had the same vibe or something. I don't know. I don't know if that's why people don't like it. I don't know but um some of the moms from Team Mom 3 are added to like Team Mom OG and Team Mom 2 I believe. So that's also why we wanted to watch that whole thing so we were caught up with everything. So basically in the Team Mom universe I am caught up unless there's something else um but if it has Farrah in it I probably don't care. And last but certainly not least on my dad's Plex platform we watched Get Out and this is the first time I've actually watched this movie the whole way through. Now when this came out I didn't know exactly what happened but I've never actually fully watched it. I've watched clips but I never watched the whole movie from start to finish for the whole experience and it's an experience. I think it's a fantastic fucking horror movie that more people should talk about and I literally watched this on purpose because a book I was reading compared itself to this and this is a slap. I don't want to ruin Get Out for you if you've never seen it but please just go watch it with like literally zero knowledge of what goes on. It is just so deceptively good you just kind of don't know who to trust and why they're doing this. I know that list is really short but I do have a lot more coming for quarter four that I can fill you in on. Most of them are brand new. I'm trying to slow down my rewatching. I mean, that's not true. I have already rewatched like two different shows, but I'm definitely trying to incorporate more new shows to tell you guys about. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know down below if you guys have watched anything new in this quarter that you'd like me to watch because I, again, pretty much have every single streaming platform out there. I think the only one I don't have maybe is like Apple TV at this point. We're already like really high paying for all of our streaming services. So if they're on any of the ones I talked about, please let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you guys all very soon.